right, man, let's talk about Sadiq Bay and uh, Jay and Ivy coming off the bench. Um, Killian hot right now. I thought Killian and Ivy played pretty well together, but they chosen to run with who they running with in the starting five. And um, like I said, I don't know if Casey trying to develop. I don't know if Casey trying to, you know, excuse me, roll with the hot hand. I don't really know what's the education behind this, but uh, Ivy is the priority. Know, um, it, it's you know I don't know if they trying to manage his knee injury or whatever. He ain't 100. percent So you keep him out to 100. percent Then let Killian, you know, show what he got to do. But this team has no direction, none. You know, people say, "Oh, so much talent in the starting." If it's so much talent in the starting lineup, why ain't winning games? Everything need to revolve around Ivy and Durham right now, whatever it may be. You're not winning with Bagley. You're not winning with Stewart. You're not winning with Bojanovic. You know, develop the young guys. They need to be playing. They need to be starting to play important minutes. No matter how well Killian playing as, you know, for here and there, right? It really don't matter how well he playing. Once you look at it from the aspect of K Cunningham going to come back and be the guy. So the ball gonna be out your hands one way or another. Now, if they showcasing them to, to, to get his trade value up, then I understand that. But in the way they're using Jay and Ivy, I, I don't. I mean, without K, he need to be running the show. You know, he need to be getting to where he need to get at. It's just the case. He just not only is they not winning games, and that's fine by me. I, I don't mind tanking. Again, this the last year though. Um. But it's not it's no direction. We know what Bagley is. We know what Stewart is. You know what I'm saying? We know what Burke is. We know what Boyanovich is. You know, your, your job is, is to, to let Dern and Ivy learn by fire. They're gonna be the cornerstone with Kay Cunningham, not Killian Hayes. Not Killian Hayes. So I hate to break it to people like that, but that's just the truth. Them guys need to be playing in important minutes. I mean, even back. You know what Boyanovic is. Boyanovic should have been coming off the bench. Boyanovic should have been coming off the bench and giving Bay every opportunity to... Um, be successful. You know, they're not like they call in place for Bay. They put him in a position to be successful. It's just like, it's just a big enigma, bro. That's just what the team is. It's an enigma. It's an enigma with no direction. Two, two terrible things. Are we trying to win now? Are we trying to develop talent? Or are we just tanking? Come on, you beat Dallas. Come on, man. Everybody is in, you're going to win one game every now and again. Now, if they string together five, six games or wins, you know, four out of five or three out of five, okay. I mean, I'm three out of five, four out of five, or, you know, five out of seven or eight or something like that, then okay. We can say, well, they starting to turn the corner. You know? They starting to turn the corner. You know? But I, I just don't know what, what's the other than taking, I don't know. And I've never known with the, with the pistons. Under Casey, what are, what are, what are we doing? What, what, what are we doing? Are we showcasing Bojanovic and, and Bagley and Hayes to trade them? Well, Bay going to the bench isn't a demotion. My thing is, then where's his opportunities at coming off the bench? 
Are they significantly up from him in the starting lineup? That's the question. That's the million dollar. I, I mean, I just don't understand the decisions they're making. The decisions they're making is not it's not for the better or overall. It's not it's not for the greater good in the short term or the long term. That's how I look at it. It's not. It's really not. And that, and that's just my honest opinion about it. So we can argue and we can debate all day. I just want to know. I honestly just want to know what direction. are we going in? That's it. Are we, are we developing young talent? You know, are we developing young talent? Are we just I'm seeing showcasing guys for other tra- for trade value? You know, I, I just I don't get it. If you're losing all these games, why not put these guys in the pot together and, and play them? That's what I don't understand. Why not? That's what that's what I don't understand. You playing all these different pieces that's not going to be part of the Come on, Bagley is not going to be a starting center or power four on the championship team. I'm just telling you, I don't give a fuck what the numbers say. You're not. Killian Hayes is, you know, off the bench. I mean, possibly. You know, so I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm confused about the whole ordeal, dude. I just, I don't understand what's the, what's the objective other than tanking. Where is this team going? Durham should be getting every fucking minute he can get until he file out. If Ivy ain't healthy, sit his ass down until he's healthy and let Killian go crazy. When he's healthy, him and Killian got to figure out. Because guess what? He got to figure out with Cade Cunningham anyway. So that, that's going to help the transition back to Cade. Same thing to Killian. That's going to help his transition if he got to play back with Cade or another another uh, uh, guard, you know, combo guard or another point, whoever it may be. That's just going to help his transition. You know, so play, bringing them off the bench and letting up the other veterans play, you're playing veterans that's still not winning basketball. Games. If I'm not going to win, I want the young guys to get as much experience as they can. Why lose with veterans? What's the, lose, the difference between losing to veterans and you losing with young players is that the young players will learn. They will learn. That's the difference. They will learn. The 
veterans are what they are right now. It is what it is. So if you're not going to throw them in start starter, they need to be playing important minutes. They really need to be gelling together. And if it's too much talent, quote unquote, in the starting lineup, then you know you draft. You got a you you or you got all these different pieces, and they don't work together. It's two problems. The GM putting a bunch of pieces that don't work together, or it's the head coach who can't make the pieces work together and put the players in the roles they need to be put in for the team to move forward as a whole. If everybody had a role, they knew their role, this wouldn't be a factor. It wouldn't. And Casey role is go shoot threes, 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 go shoot threes. Go shoot more threes. There's no emphasis on defense, there's no emphasis on on play calling, ball movement, cutting without the basketball. Man, I'm I'm done, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Get the camera on my face. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance for notifications. We go live, drop the video. Financially, want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo CJ Good 313 Hit the link tree. Find me on uh, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast. Well, it's just Spotify, Anchor. The Alliance Podcast is up, so hopefully I'll go check it out on Spotify. Peace.